In this video, we're going to go over the baseball diamond problem. So we have a baseball player running from second base to third base at a speed of 20 feet per second. He is currently 50 feet away from the third base. And the baseball diamond field, it has the shape of a square where all the side lengths are 120 feet. So we need to determine the rate at which the distance between the player and the home plate is changing. Let's start by drawing a picture. So this is going to be first base, second, third, and this is the home plate. Now the player is somewhere between second and third base. And he's moving towards the third base at a speed of 20 feet per second. And he's currently 50 feet away from the third base. Now, the baseball diamond field is the shape of a square and the side length is 120. So this is 120, this is 120. Every side of this field is 120. So the distance between the home plate and third base is 120 feet. Now, our goal is to focus on the rate at which the distance between the player and the home plate is changing. So notice that we have a right triangle. So let's redraw the picture somewhere on the side here. Let's call this x, y, and z. So the goal of this problem is to determine the rate at which z is changing. So we need to calculate dz dt. So how can we figure out the value of dz dt? What do we need to do? First, we need to make a list of what we know already. So we have the value of x. x is 50. And we have y. y is 120. We currently do not have the value of z. But what is the value of dx dt? What is that? Now, we know that it has to do with this number, 20 feet per second. Is x increasing or decreasing? As the player moves from second to third base, this distance highlighted in green will decrease, and that is represented by x. So x is decreasing, which means that dx dt has to be negative. So in this case, it's a negative 20 feet per second. So now that we have this information, we no longer need the pictures. So let's get rid of the pictures at this point and make some uh, useful space. Now we still had a right triangle. So we have this equation, z squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. So let's calculate z. x is 50, y is 120. 50 squared is 2,500. And 120 times 120 is 14,400. Now, if we add these two numbers, this will give us 16,900. And that's equal to z squared. So let's take the square root of both sides to get z. So z is 130 feet. So now that we have z, we can calculate the z dt. So let's go ahead and find the derivative of this equation with respect to time. So the derivative of z squared is 2z dz dt. And the derivative of x squared is 2x dx dt. The derivative of y squared will not be 2y dy dt. dy dt is 0. So if you recall, in this picture, this is y, this is x, and this is z. The person is moving towards the third base. So therefore, x is changing. But as he's running toward 
uh, the third base, y is not going to change. It's going to remain 120. And so because y is fixed, it doesn't change. It's a constant at that instant. Until he's moving from third base to home plate, until he's moving in this direction, that is, then, only then will y be changing. But until then, while he's going from second to third base, y is constant. And so we need to treat it as a constant. And the derivative of a constant is 0. So we have this expression. Now let's divide both sides by 2. And let's replace x with, I mean z, with 130. And x, we can replace that with 50. And dx et is negative 20. So let's divide both sides by 130. So the first thing we could do is cancel a 0. And so we have 50 times negative 2, which is negative 100, divided by 13. So this is the answer. It's negative 100 over 13 feet per second. And let's convert that to a decimal. So that's about negative 7.69 feet per second. So that's the rate at which the distance between the player and the home plate is changing. This is the final answer.